What's going on guys, FaZe Rug here and welcome back to another video. If the world were to end tomorrow and you had time for one final meal, what would it be? I asked some of the top athletes in the world that eerie question and that's exactly what I'm gonna be eating for the whole day. Haters will say that's fake. Starting with the Super Bowl 55 champion, one of the greatest wide receivers of all time, Antonio Brown. Hi, FaZe Rug. It's Antonio Brown here. If the world were to end tomorrow, my last meal probably would be Taco Tuesday. I like hey. when the walnuts, not no real beef or no meat. I like the walnut soak season with the guacamole. My chef does it real good. Okay, Taco Tuesday. I'm sure LeBron would be very proud of that. Taco Tuesday! Who doesn't love tacos? But he said walnut soaked as the seasoning. No beef, no meat, but walnuts. He did say that his chef prepares it for him, so I feel like I have to get a chef too. And I know just the person for that. We got none other than Chef Sarah. Hey guys. Cooking it up. What do we got here? So we have fresh guacamole. Okay. And we have tacos. Ooh, those are the walnut tacos. Yes, they are. All right, we got the walnut tacos right here, and we're gonna add the guac ourselves. A little splat. All right, cheers to Antonio Brown's last Last meal. Whoa, you can't even tell that there's no meat in here. This is actually really good. I think this hits. This is a 10 of 10. Next up, we got two-time WWE Hall of Famer, Ric Flair. Woo! Let's see what his last meal is. Woo! Faith Rug, it's a nature boy Ric Flair right here. My last meal would be angel hair pasta, tons of marinara sauce, and two big, beautiful, fat meatballs. <laughs> Yo! Legend Ric Flair angel hair pasta, tons of marinara sauce, and two, not one, but two big, beautiful meatballs. All right, I know Ric Flair didn't say Olive Garden, but that's my choice, okay? Best pasta in the world. Can I get angel hair pasta? Yeah, yeah for sure. With with tons of marinara sauce. Marinara, for sure. Yup. And two big, fat, beautiful meatballs. For sure. Oh, my cameraman's not allowed to eat on the oh, shift. God. Yeah, when I work. I'm just I kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> okay, that was fast. Right, I got the angel hair with extra, oh, extra marinara. Look at the marinara. Okay, Ric Flair would be proud. All right, any cheese on that for you? Ric Flair didn't say cheese, but can I like cheat a little bit maybe? Yeah, I think so. Everything's better with cheese. You right? need cheese. Okay, right. sorry Ric Flair, we have to. Can we get a, woo! <laughs> woo! Yeah, let's go! You think these are fat enough balls? Like, no, you don't think Ric Flair would be proud of this? All right, all good, all good. Oh, dude, come on. I just did my famous walk when the food tastes delicious, I ran yeah. into Ari and I actually met him. Look how young. I'm 19 now, so this is like seven years later. Bro, yo, yeah. you're a real one. Yeah, this is crazy, hey, bro. let's go. Nice oh to see you God. again. During my walk, I pulled a fan back with me, bro. That is just, that's a first right there. And it was so worth it for this meal, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ric Flair told me to end with a woo, so woo! Next up, we got Hall of Famer, three-time World Series champ, Big Poppy Ortiz, aka David Ortiz from the Boston Red Sox. Hey, Rob, what's happening? This is Big Poppy right here. My last meal will be fried chicken and fried plantain. Ooh, shout out to David Ortiz. Even Drake mentioned him in a song. I'm in the Dominican, Big Poppy Ortiz, Moment for Life, Nicki Minaj, X Drake. This is about a hit. I've never had plantains before, but I think those are like sweet bananas served up a certain way. So you already know Chef Sarah's cooking it up right now. Let's go eat. Ooh. All right, we got some fried chicken and fried plantains. I love it. That looks great. Thank you. Got it. By the way, are you a Nicki Minaj fan? Yes, I am. Really? You like Nicki Minaj? Yeah, I love Nicki Minaj. So you're a barb. Huh? You don't know what a barb is? No. All right, Sarah, I think you just, <laughs> you just gotta exit. You just gotta exit. Hey, all right, wait, this looks good. I've never had fried plantain, so I'm really excited. We're gonna start with the plantains. Mmm. Wait, that's actually fire. I wonder if fried plantains is popular in the Dominican Republic. Buy the fried chicken. Some plantains. Okay, that combo is insane. This pairs perfectly together. I'm gonna have to rate this last meal a nine out of 10. Next up, we got a Super Bowl champ, one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever do it, Brett Favre. Fun fact, I actually played in an influencer football game and Brett Favre was my quarterback. We were playing against Kai Sinat, Duke Dennis, Phantom, the whole AMP squad. Not gonna lie, Brett Favre threw one pass to me super fast and I dropped it and he didn't pass me the ball the rest of the game, but I don't blame him. Hey, Faze Rug, it's Brett Favre. I'm going 
going with pizza. Pizza? Anything specific? Toppings? Place? Anything? All right, well, we could just go order my favorite pizza or we could spin the wheel to see what pizza I get. I think that's more interesting. All right, we got a bunch of different types of pizzas on this wheel and now let's see what we get. I'll take a deep dish pizza, come on. Oh my gosh. All right, well, gas station pizza it is. We made it, 7-Eleven pizza. Just one slice of pizza, that'd be great. Brett Favre told me to get this. You know, like, legend quarterback. Appreciate you. By the looks of it, it doesn't look bad. It actually looks pretty appetizing. Ooh, this smells good. All right, this pizza is not bad. It is gas station pizza, but I mean, shoot, that'll fill me up. Tastes like a regular slice of pizza to me, but seven out of 10. All right, guys, next up, we got my goat from the WWE, Dominic Mysterio. Hey, all the real ones know when I became a WWE superstar with Dominic Mysterio. That was one of my all-time favorite videos. What's up, FaZe, bro? Dom Mysterio here, man. I think my final meal would have to be a three by three In-N-Out burger, animal style. Come on. Animal fries, some chicken tenders. <laughs> and probably some ahi tuna ceviche just to have like a little bit of everything in there. Wow, okay, so let me clarify again, my goat right there. If your final meal has anything to do with In-N-Out, I love you, but you're adding on chicken tenders and ahi tuna ceviche? That's an interesting combo, but let's go get some. All right, here we have Dominic Mysterio's last meal. Definitely an interesting combination. I mean, you got some seafood right here. You got some American food, chicken tenders, burger and fries. But if you guys didn't know what a three by three animal style was, it is three patties, as you could see. And animal style has pickles in the burger. Animal style fries, classic. The most I've gotten is a double double, so I don't think like this could fit in my mouth. Pause, pause, please. Don't, don't clip that. Here we go. Wow, that is so good. Mix it with some animal fries. Next up, we got some crispy chicken tenders. Could never go wrong with that, classic. I would personally eat that with some ranch, but Dominic didn't say that. And lastly, we're gonna mix some ahi tuna ceviche with that. Man, my stomach is gonna be hurting after this. I already know it, like my day is ruined after this one right here. Mm. Not a bad final meal. You're getting a little bit of everything. So I'm gonna have to give this last meal a nine out of 10. Next up, we got Ryan Garcia. Hey guys, so FaZe Rug just asked me what would be my last meal before the end of the world. I'm gonna have to go with the Gringo Tacos from Pinches Tacos. Gringo Tacos from Pinches Tacos, but it's in LA. But I really wanna try that, cause that sounds fire. All right, I think I got an idea. I sent my cousin Clint to LA to pick up the Gringo Tacos, and while we wait for that, let's go have another last meal. We got Jaron Jackson Jr. from the Memphis Grizzlies, and he actually won Defensive Player of the Year last season and I'm not gonna lie, I would easily cross him up and score on him. He is not even blocking me, not even coming remotely close to it. So we're gonna see what he's eating for the last meal. Yo, what up, it's Trip. And if Trip. the world were to end right now, I would want chicken, shrimp, steak, fried rice, and a pineapple with yum yum sauce and Yo. teriyaki sauce. No, that's a 10 out of 10. I don't even need to eat that to know that's a 10 of 10. Are you kidding me? That's a real last meal, okay? You already know Chef Sarah is cooking it up right now. I'm so excited. Thank you, Jaren. All right, Brian, this is gonna be the best one in my opinion. Okay, so we're gonna start with the steak, some rice, hold on. That's about as good as I'm gonna get. Uh, we'll get some yum yum sauce. There we go. This is for Jaren Jackson Jr. Here we go. Oh my God. Sarah, what did you do? What, Magic. What did you create here for me? That is so good. That combination. 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 All right, now I'm gonna go for all three at once. Do it. I think I have to. Don't forget the teriyaki. Definitely the teriyaki. If you're hungry right now, guys, I'm so freaking sorry. Oh, 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 oh. This is crazy. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a 10 out of 10, for sure, in my book. Thank you, Sarah. Of course. This is definitely my new favorite last meal of the day, and it's probably gonna be hard to top, but we still got a few more athletes. Next up, we got the skateboarding goat legend, Tony Hawk. I surprised Noah a few days ago to meet him, and he went absolutely crazy, but Tony wanted to send us a video as well. What's up, guys? It's Tony Hawk, pro skater, and if the world were to end tomorrow, my last meal would be the omakase at Matsuhisa in Beverly Hills. All right, this place is called Matsuhisa in Beverly Hills, and that just sounds insane. 
saying if Clint is already in LA, we might as well send him to go bring that and we'll wait for the food to come and we'll try Ryan's and Tony's. All right, so Brian just called me and told me that there's one more meal to get here in LA. Brian, you name it, you got it. Tony Hawk wanted Matsuahisa sushi here in Beverly Hills. So I'm about to pick that up and we're gonna go get some sushi. All right, Matsuahisa, Tony Hawk. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Ready to go. Back to San Diego we go. All right, Clint is back from LA. Yeah, that was a quick run. Dude. Let me tell you my, my workout. Ooh. Can I just tell you you're a real one for doing that? Hey, of course. Hey, of course. if it comes to food and driving, this is your guy right here. All so right. So we got Peaches Tacos right here. The Gringo Taco, Ryan Garcia's favorite. It says real Mexican food by real Mexicans. It's kind of falling apart, but I'm gonna go for it. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. And this is three hours old, bro. Dude, Ryan Garcia just put me on. Shout out PJ's Tacos. Yeah, I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10. I have to. This is the omakase from Matsuhisa. Omakase means chef's choice? Yes. So I guess this changes every day. All right, artichoke salad. Let's go. Nice little appetizer. Wow, that flavor, what the hell? I like that. Yellow tail with a jalapeno. Oh, oh, come on. That's so good. Oh my God. Next up we got halibut. Tiradito. Tiradito. Okay. This one is crazy. This is like translucent. All right, here we go. Halibut, this is really good. <laughs> How was that one funny? <laughs> okay, salmon with dry miso. This one just looks juicy itself. Whoa. Uh-huh, that's salmon. Toro tartar with caviar. I'm not a caviar kind of guy. That's like the one thing I don't like. Tuna tartar, here we go. Mmm, it's so good that he's laughing. I can't help it, this is amazing. Bluefin sushi, Toro sushi, and albacore sushi. I'm gonna go for the bluefin. And I'll go for a Toro. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. That's so good. So right here we got the black cod with miso. Mm, miso hungry. <laughs> yes. Cheers, mate. Whoa. Stop. Whoa. No, that is crazy. Is it like honey glaze? Mm -hmm. It tastes like there's honey marinated into the cod. Bro. US Kobe with Uzu truffle sauce. We got some Kobe. Hey, speaking of athletes, right? the greatest. Greatest of all time, RIP to Kobe. It's good, I will say, all the seafood prior to that was top tier. Yeah. I'm gonna have to give this a 10 of 10. Mm, Come same on. here. I am so excited for this one. We got three time Super Bowl champion, the legend Julian Edelman, Tom Brady's right hand man. That duo was scary. So, Julian Edelman here, and my last meal ever. I mean, easy burger. 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 Okay. And a hot fudge sundae. Yo! Our first dessert of the video. Okay, we got a burger, 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 and a hot fudge sundae. Yes, I'm so happy there's a dessert in this. Like, I don't know why no one's saying that. Hey, also, huge shout out to my boy, FaZe Banks, for even getting Julian Edelman to do this, man. Thank you, Banks. I love you. Before we get our burger, we definitely need the hot fudge sundae. So what other place to go to other than Dairy Queen? Come on. Me before a hot fudge sundae. Can I just do a hot fudge sundae? We'll do a medium. Thank you so much. Finally, someone gets a dessert. This is the first dessert we've had in this video. And if it's your last meal, I'm throwing in ice cream. I'm throwing in donuts. I'm throwing every dessert possible in there. So thank you, Edelman. Do I even have to say anything? I don't. We're at In-N-Out. I get to choose the burger spot, okay? If Edelman said Jack in the Box, I would've went to Jack in the Box. If he said McDonald's, I would've went to McDonald's. Like it would be ideal to eat it with the burger, but it's gonna be melted by then. Mmm. My goodness. All right, so my hot fudge sundae is practically melted. I mean, still pretty good. Now let's see the combo together. Now, come on, you cannot hate on In-N-Out. You just can't. That debate of Shake Shack or In-N-Out, stop it, stop, okay? In-N-Out burgers are top tier. Yep. No, nah, no, nah, that's crazy. Wow, it's pretty much like getting a milkshake from In-N-Out with your burger, but it's a hot fudge sundae instead. This one's a 10. Next up, I'm so excited. We got six time MLB All-Star Manny Machado. Please carry us to a World Series championship this year. The Padres and the city of San Diego needs it. So let's see what his last meal would be. What's up guys, it's Manny Machado here. <laughs> and 
my last meal will probably be a New York style pizza and <laughs> nice little chocolate fudge sundae. Okay, New York style pizza with a chocolate fudge sundae? That sounds like an insane combination and I think I know just the spot for that. All right, we're here at New York West. I'm excited to try their pizza. So can I just get like a, what do you think Manny Machado would like? Cheese margarita, or Margarita maybe? Margarita? I don't know. Why did you assume margarita? I don't know. <laughs> he, he wasn't specific with which flavor. We got the pizza and now for the chocolate fudge sundae. We're going to the best place in San Diego for that. Let's get it. Dude, pizza and a sundae is gonna go crazy. Can I get the world famous hot fudge sundae? That is crazy. This looks insane. This has to be the best hot fudge sundae in the world. It is. I'm gonna be the judge Taste of that. It. Okay. Yes. Let me know. Okay. You're the best. <laughs> Thank you. So far, this has to be my favorite last meal of the entire video. Pizza and a sundae? Come on. That's crazy. Oh my God, I have caramel in there. This is also right next to the Padre Stadium. So I really wonder if Manny Machado has come to this spot. Pizza time, New York style. Let's go, margarita. That is good. If the world were to end, I am not mad at this last meal. I think I'm gonna have to give this a 10 of 10. Next up, we got another skateboarding legend. 13 time X Games gold medalist, Nyjah Houston. The final meal is gonna have to be Thanksgiving food. Big plate of turkey stuffing, Brussels, lots of sweet potatoes. That's it right there. Dude, yes, Thanksgiving food. I can never get enough of that, bro. It just passed. I, I thought the next time I'd have Thanksgiving food is next November, so I'm ready, bro. Thank you, Nyjah. All right, guys. Sadly, Chef Sarah had to go, so we had to order the Thanksgiving dinner from somewhere else, but hey, I'm grateful nonetheless. We got the turkey, the stuffing, the Brussels sprouts, and lots of sweet potatoes, man. I'm a sweet potato kind of guy, so that's exactly what we're starting with. Mmm, wow. Did not think I was gonna be having Thanksgiving dinner this soon, but I'm so happy. All right, turkey and stuffing. Bro, tell me why this hits more than my actual Thanksgiving. That was home cooked. There's gotta be a 10. It just has to, bro. This is so good. Next up, we got Olympic gold medal gymnast, Gabby Douglas. She was also the first African-American to win the all-around title, which is insane. Hi, FaZe Rug. It's Olympic gymnast Gabby Douglas here. My last meal would be sushi. Ooh, sushi? Okay. She didn't give a specific type of sushi, but since she's a gymnast, I feel like I should do a little challenge to see what sushi I get. For however many seconds I can handstand for, it correlates to a mystery button that has different types of sushi rolls on them. So Gabby, this is for you. Oh, all right. Six second handstand. Let's see what we're getting. Caterpillar roll. Ooh, I've seen a caterpillar roll, but I've never ever tried it. First time for everything. Caterpillar roll, I've never had that before, but we're pulling up to one of the best sushi spots that I know called Bodo Sushi. In these types of videos, my favorite thing is always trying things I've never tried because who knows, I might discover a hidden gem. Here is the caterpillar. That's exactly what we're getting. If you've never tried this, I'm about to put you guys on. This is one of the greatest drinks of all time. There we go, let's go. Cheers. Nah, nah. Thank you, Gabby, for not telling me to get this, but leading me to this restaurant and my eyes finding it. Caterpillar roll, here it is. You can see there's avocado on the top. You guys are not allowed to get mad at me. I don't know how to use chopsticks. I just know how to break them off in a cool way, like that. <sighs> this is gonna be brutal. I don't even wanna ask for a fork. Mmm, wow, that is so good. Bro, I don't, I really don't know how to use chopsticks. Oh, dude, I hate that I don't know how to use chopsticks, bro, like this is so embarrassing. <laughs> no, that's so bad. Okay, mmm, <laughs> okay. I just got put on to a fantastic sushi roll. This is fire. I'm gonna give this whole entire experience a 9.5 out of 10. Super good. Next up, we got five-time NBA champion, two-time defensive player of the year. Playing alongside with Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen, we got Dennis Rodman. I mean, the Bulls at that time were arguably one of the best teams in NBA history. So let's see what he would eat for his final meal. Face rugs. If the world had to end today, I think my last meal would be Tito's water and a cigar. That's my last meal. Hold on, hold on, hold on. His last meal would be Tito's water and a cigar? Hey man. 
I'm probably not gonna be doing that tonight. So uh, that's Dennis Rodman's last meal. But let's move on. We got the UFC bantamweight champ, Sugar Sean, AKA Sean O'Malley. 12 knockouts, nine first round wins. That is insane. But what would his final meal be? What's up, it's Sugar Sean. And uh, if the world were to end tomorrow, my last meal would be ranch with a side of pizza. He knows, bro. Ranch with pizza is the craziest combo of all time. That's the only way you should be eating your pizza. I think I know just the person who I should eat this with. I'm here with the ranch monster. Yeah. Dad, we need some ranch then. You asking for ranch? Yes. I always have ranch in my pocket. Oh! Yeah, baby! Pulled out the akimbo ranches. Ready, set, go. Ooh, baby oh, ranch. Man. Oh, that's beautiful. Ah. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Wait, so it's ranch with a side of pizza. So we eat like spoon of ranch and then we get a little bite of pizza. I mean, what I'm doing is this. Ooh, okay. That's, that's my goal here. Oh, is that what you're doing? <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, I don't know how appetizing that one is. Where is it, Dad? <laughs> There you go. Shout out to Sugar Sean for this final meal request. Woo! Papa Rogue, we still need a cheers. That was Ric Flair. Woo! Hey. This is a bomb. Bomb. <laughs> this is a bomb? <laughs> That's perfect. All right, guys. Next up, we got one of the fastest quarterbacks in the league. We got Kyler Murray from the Arizona Cardinals. Let's see what his last meal is going to be. Last meal ever. Probably a filet. Butterfly medium well uh, with some fries, some mashed potatoes, some green beans, some cream corn. And yeah, that's what we're going with. That's crazy. If I were to have one last meal, steak would come to my mind right away. This is the first out of so many athletes that chose steak. And he was very specific, which I like. He wanted it butterfly, medium well, which that's how I like my steaks, and a bunch of sides. I'm freaking down for that. Shout out Kyler. So guys, here we have the butterfly filet. As you can see, it literally looks like a butterfly. What they do is they cut it, but they stop before it goes all the way through, making it cook faster, and it makes it less thick. So I've never tried a butterfly steak. We got the cream corn right here. We got the mashed potatoes, the green beans, and the french fries. We're gonna start with the french fries. I mean, can't complain about fries. Got some green beans. Oh, that is hot. Gotta love eating them greens. Like my boy Destroying says, put them greens in your body and you get them greens in your pocket, baby. All right, cream corn, baby. Mmm, that tastes like Mexican street corn. That is so good. Mashed potatoes at a steakhouse is very important. All right, here we go. Just the way I like it, not too mushy. You could still kind of taste some potatoes in there, like some hard potatoes. I like it. Spread that butter on the butterfly steak. All right, Kyler, this is for you. Whoa, yo, he might've just put me on, bro. That is insane. So we are ending it with a bang, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you saw your favorite athlete in this video, please comment down below. I had so much fun making this video. Shout out to every single athlete who sent one. And to end it off, this is a 10 out of 10. Make sure you guys hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you all with the next video. Peace.